NEC has emerged as one of the systems integration linchpins in early Open RAN efforts. So to find out more and how the company sees the market developing, I'm talking with Ala Goldner, Director of Strategy Open Standards at NEC. Ala, thanks for speaking with us today. Now, uh, NEC is involved in a number of ongoing Open RAN trials and rollouts. What has the company learned from these experiences so far? So first of all, NC has been involved in quite all early open run deployments. And indeed, we learned several things, several challenges. So first of all, I would mention brownfield deployment as one major challenge. As for brownfield deployment, we have to integrate and to work side by side with traditional vendors. And there are several interfaces which are optional by standard and not always supported by those traditional vendors, but key for those integrations and for those brownfield deployment. And we go through uh, those. This is one of the challenges that we face. Second thing I would mention the innovative use cases because just price reduction by itself is not sufficient at this point, is not sufficient to make it through to make it into the real deployment and some innovation use cases which bring monetizations are needed. Obviously, energy efficiency is the thing which everyone is discussing and we hear lots of requirements in this regard from service providers. We are strongly working on that and we have suite of solutions uh, responding to energy efficiency challenge. Additional ones I would mention run sharing, slicing with SLA assurance, all those more innovative use cases coming along with 5G standalone and slicing functionality. And we see an increasing need in those uh, recently. And then I was mentioned, you know, integration challenge. Obviously, open run brings lots of advantages, but also as soon as you have more pieces in the network, the more integration tests, uh, integration with the more partners you need to go through. And by the way, this is the reason that we've established NC Open Network Unit, where we basically bring our solutions and our solutions integrated and tested with our partners. I would, I would highlight and mention those three. Okay, excellent. Um, now, how can more network operators be encouraged to put an open RAN architecture through its paces? Are a lot of operators uh, reluctant currently? And if so, what do you think they're waiting for? So first of all, indeed, some of them are waiting for others to succeed. And they're looking on those who are more innovative. You know, there are several in Asia, clearly. There are several in the UAE. And uh, there are several others we do hear from that we're waiting to see the outcomes, the costs, uh, the size of deployment that those who are an early adapters, that happens. Now, second thing, I think uh, certification activities, and we strongly believe that similar to how a uh, mobile network is being tested and mobile equipment is being tested before deployment, same should happen to Oran in terms of formal certification activity formal test beds for, you know, full alignments to the specifications. Uh, this is the key for successful deployment. And I think that some of the service providers are deeply looking into that. And we are also engaged with several in those activities. You know, there are Oran plug fest, tip badging activities. We are strongly engaged and participating, and we expect it to move even more into formalization, into some formal conformance and uh, of, of, of the equipment that we are providing and our partners are providing. Now, the third thing that I also briefly mentioned in the previous one, you know, it is not that much any longer about CAPEX and OPEX reduction. Of course, price is very important, but it is also about monetization, not just saving, but how you make new business use case, how you make monetization out of or an, and this is where we strongly believe in those new innovative uh, rig based use cases, energy saving as well. So it is on the saving side, but it can also create a new deployment scenarios and, you know, abnormal behavior, which is, of course, very important for the network monitoring and being capable 
of uh, you know saying what is happening in your network and fixing it in the real time. So all those things which eventually bring to a better network performance and to monetization are also the things which we see more, we will see more, and service provider are closely watching into that as well. Yeah, a, a lot for the operators to consider, and certainly, you know, trust in uh, in what they're getting from the sector is definitely important there. Now, um, uh, what do you expect to see in 2023 with regards to the open RAN sector? Uh, what's coming down the pipe this year? So actually, quite several things. So first of all, I would uh, again mention those integration and certification activities. And really lots of work is being done, like even if you look into Oran Alliance work, there are many specifications for testing and integration which are being created as we speak for the separate network functions of Oran for the integration between uh, pairs to network functions and also for end-to-end -end scenario. And as I said, my expectation and our expectation is that as we move forward, those activities will be more formalized, lead to formal uh, conformance testing, so it can fully match what is currently being acceptable for the mobile network. Now, second thing, uh, I would say a more advancement of specifications like Oran Working Group 11 was established, formally launched last year. It has many, many, many tracks dealing with the different pieces of security, so the effort is really huge and the number of participants there is really huge. And I'm talking about uh, different aspects of security related to network function security, open source security, AML security, and so on. So this is something to strengthen this year, I believe, and many of those specifications will be completed and formalized as well. And also once they formalized, it will, uh, take uh, its uh, turn to move that and to turn it part also of certification uh, scenarios. Now, additional thing which is currently being discussed by standardization is indeed or on rig those use cases which belong to non-real-time, near-real-time and the split between this and also additional functionality such as NWDAV, such as MDAV, defined by FreeGPP, and what makes it right in terms of functional split between those for which use cases or on rig should be applied, MDAV, NWDAV, where a combination is needed, and in case of combination, also what they can contribute to each other. So there is an ongoing work, and we expect more and more of such scenarios to be discussed and to mature this year. Now, additional thing, I would say that a recognition of Oran Alliance specifications as a standard is really a key and work is ongoing. Etsy has recognized front call specification last year as its own Etsy standard. Recently, MOU was signed between Oran Alliance and Artis, so Artis can recognize Oran Alliance specifications as standards, and I think we will see movement, we will see advancement on those fronts this year. Now, also a 6G discussion has already started, not yet in standards, but in the industry. And as far as Oran is concerned, the key point here, whether Oran will be a basis for 6G technology and we at NEC strongly believe it should. And we believe also that this year there will be a lot of discussions related to that because 6G standardization is supposed to start beginning of the next year as many of companies estimate right now. Now, all this that I mentioned hopefully will contribute to the advancement of the Oran deployments, not just, you know, the discussions by itself, but actually, you know, be key to also convince a service provider that Oran is here to stay and Oran is advanced and Oran is developing at the right levels of security, right levels of certification. So indeed, we move forward towards the end of this year, beginning of the next year, this those specifications and deployments based on those.
Yeah, absolutely. So much going on. And like you say, uh, plenty of conversations, plenty of talk. But uh, what uh, the operators and the whole ecosystem really wants to see is uh, more activity, more real world examples that everybody can learn from. So, uh, Ala, uh, great to talk to you. Thanks for sharing your insights and giving us an update on what NEC is working on. And uh, look forward to speaking to you again later in the year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.